Hello everyone, my name is Nilanjan Gupta and uh, I'm in Core Networks Portfolio Management and today we are at Core User Group and we are going to do a demo of Advanced CNF Monitoring and Troubleshooting. This Advanced CNF Monitoring and Troubleshooting is essentially the demo is a showcase that is doing two things. It's capitalizing on an industry trend of using open source uh, assets from the open ecosystem and open interfaces like Prometheus, Grafana, Victoria Metrics, uh, Kafka to achieve cloud native observability. And this also combines monitoring and troubleshooting on a single pane of uh, glass. Um, the system itself uh, is uh, relying on the following building blocks. Uh, we are using the open interfaces from our core, uh, core CNFs and the underlying container infrastructure and collecting logs, uh, alarms, counters, call traces, health check records into a data lake that's built up of open source uh, assets like Victoria Metrics, Grafana, uh, OpenSearch and Homer. This, it's important to understand that these open source assets are something that could be provided by our solution or it could be something that you as our customers can uh, provide. But what's really important with those open source assets is that we provide along with our network function artifacts that define the dashboards that, that bring life to these open source assets, to rules and AIML models that, that, that are able to use the, these data that gets collected to really bring better troubleshooting and better automation to your daily operations. So uh, besides uh, the usual observability data set of alarms and counters, we are doing log monitoring, uh, health check monitoring, uh, in, in network-based call tracing as additional troubleshooting tools. And this is all going to be enhanced further by adding uh, rules and AIML models to perform further automation of troubleshooting like uh, detection of faults uh, from, from various uh, observability fragments, automatic alerting, and automatic recommendation and action actions to really automate your daily operations. Uh, the demo system itself is uh, uh, where, where this uh, advanced monitoring and troubleshooting is uh, connected to a real 5G core in one of our labs, and we are specifically monitoring the Nokia NPC the Nokia CMM and the Nokia AUSF UDM. In this uh, lab, we have 5G traffic from a Spirant Land satellite simulator that is uh, going in a round robin, doing subscriber registrations, PDU sessions, and subscriber deregistrations for 10 subscribers. What we will see during the demo is that we will detect a problem from the monitoring dashboards, perform troubleshooting drill, drill down, and identify the root cause and fix the problem. With this, let me uh, move to the demo. So this is an example of uh, open source Grafana dashboard where we are monitoring a KPI of the, on the Nokia CMM called 5G registration success rate. And as you can see, the registration success rate is running lower than 100%. So this is a cause of uh, concern. And the idea of this demo is to identify how can this uh, uh, root cause of, of this registration failures be identified. So uh, we will use the uh, a health check uh, from this uh, demo system called PCMD health check. This is per call measurement data that is generated from the CMM, which is going to indicate if there are some registration failures. I have already run that health check and if you see the results of that health check, this is identifying that this particular subscriber is the one for which registrations have failed. Uh, having known that, we will next start uh, call trace to find out which part of the call flow is causing this registration failure. So we are going to put the uh, subscriber on that, run this uh, uh, call, call trace for uh, two minutes and uh, activate it. Once this is uh, activated, it will keep running for two minutes and then we would uh, be able to look at the call traces. Uh, 
at the end of the call trace uh, generation, we will get a output like this, where the this is an indication that the uh, CMM, NPC, and UDM uh, have been uh, traced in that in those two minutes, and there's a correlation ID called 384, which is uh, used to trace the calls across those network functions. This is an example of a subscriber uh, ending with 01, where the call trace was uh, 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 should, should indicate no failures. And if I click on that uh, trace reference ID, you can see that the call trace is showing call, uh, the call flows, 3GPP call flows. Uh, these are HTTP2 protocol call flows that are going across UDM, CMM, CMG, CSD, and uh, NPC. So this would be a normal call flow. Uh, for the case where the uh, for the case where uh, the uh, call flow is uh, uh, not correct in the case where this uh, subscriber has failed, the call flow looks a bit different. Uh, it doesn't cover all the network functions and uh, it, the call flow really stops between the UDM and the CMM. And if we have to identify this uh, further, we are going to look at the uh, CMM sending a AM uh, uh, data request to the UDM. And if we look at that uh, request, we see that the response uh, shows that this subscriber 02, whom we have been uh, tracing, is having in its subscriber profile uh, core network restriction called 5G core, which means that this subscriber is not allowed to use the 5G core, uh, uh, and, and therefore the registrations have been failing. So this is the identification of the root cause of uh, this problem. So once we identify the root cause, we could go to the uh, uh, SOAP UI from which the re uh, uh, subscriber provisioning is done, and remove that uh, core network restriction and with this we will uh, see in a, f a couple of minutes that the uh, registration failures have subsided and we can get a regular call flow for that subscriber once more. So, so far what we have done is we have seen, we have identified a problem that's uh, from, from a KPI monitoring dashboard. We have uh, used health checks to identify uh, part of the root cause of the problem that the registrations have been failing for subscriber ending in 02. And we have activated call traces and looked at the call trace and identified the root cause of the problem, which we have now fixed. Now, besides these troubleshooting tools and monitoring tools, I'd like to also show the power of this uh, ACMT in terms of the open dashboards that uh, we are uh, providing. So this is an example of uh, uh, yeah. This is an example of uh, Grafana dashboards that are getting monitored for the CMM. These are dashboards that are all pre-shipped with every C, uh, CNF that, 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 that we supply from Nokia. And uh, even if you as our customer would use your own open source tools, we would these, dash, these dashboard artifacts would can run on your open source and then uh, you could do the monitoring in exactly the same way. Uh, similarly, we have uh, a dash, uh, PM dash, Grafana dashboards from UDM, and they, they are, of course, different KPIs which are being monitored, but nonetheless, these are uh, useful information. But the beauty is also that you can, uh, you can uh, design your own dashboards using Grafana uh, dashboard uh, editor. You can write your own queries, apply different colors and uh, line styles and so on. So any number of dashboards which are not pre-shipped by Nokia is something which you can also uh, uh, define and uh, design. Uh, besides monitoring the network functions like CMM, UDM, and NPC that we have already seen, we are also monitoring the underlying NCS infrastructure using what are called CubeStat metrics, which are also getting collected in Victoria metrics. Similarly, we are also showing the uh, uh, Kubernetes cluster monitoring in terms of, for example, usage of the uh, memory, usage of CPU per pod, per process, and so on. So this, this, this really helps in doing what we call vertical correlation. So both the 
application software metrics as well as the underlying infrastructure metrics could be correlated to also further do troubleshooting. Lastly, I'm going to show open source, open search dashboards. This is for the NPC CNF. So as you can see, we are uh, doing a, a monitoring of the, uh, uh, of the of the logs generated by the NPC in the last three hours. And uh, we see a lot of uh, info logs and error logs that are generated. And uh, we can do various kinds of analysis using these open search dashboards in terms of which time period logs are coming, which processes are generating the logs, which containers are generating the logs, and so on. And finally, if we have to look at particular log entries, we can see what, what, what is the actual error that got reported, at what time it got reported, and this can be used to further um, analyze and troubleshoot problems that are belonging to the software layer. So in uh, summary, what we have seen in this uh, demo is a recap of holistic and multidimensional troubleshooting in the 5G core. This blue box in the middle is the demo system that we have seen, which includes open source assets like Victoria Metrics and Grafana, open search with open search dashboards, PCMD based CNF health checks, and Homer based end to end call tracing. We have, we had, I de we started with an issue where a subscriber was restricted to use 5G core and registration started to fail. We looked at PCMD records to identify the subscriber identity which failed. We started a call trace for that. And from the call trace, we could identify that the AMF registration failures were caused by this 5G core restriction. We corrected that uh, provisioning uh, mistake and uh, we can now see from the uh, uh, KPI dashboards that this uh, would have recovered, yeah? So as, as takeaways, I think what we have seen is that this advanced CNF monitoring and troubleshooting uh, is something that would add value by leveraging the cloud native ecosystem, uh, collecting a much wider observability data set, not only alarms and counters, but also logs, health check records, PCMD records, uh, call traces, and bringing all these monitoring and troubleshooting tools to a single pane of glass that it, it becomes much easier to do the troubleshooting and um, reduce your mean time to repair for any faults that you get in the network. So thank you very much uh, for listening to this uh, demo and uh, wish you a good day ahead.